Andrew Alexander with Imaging Resource. Still at Photokina 2006, we're in floor number four in Köln, Germany. I'm now at the DxO Labs with Cyril de la Chene. He's going to show us some of the new features that are in their new version of DxO Pro version 4. Cyril, what have you got with this program? Well, we, we're very excited to launch the, the software. It's been available since yesterday uh, on our website. And uh, I'll just try to, uh, to remind you that uh, DxO Optics Pro is about automatically enhancing image quality. Now, the, uh, what's new in version 4 is that we provide the user with total geometry control. And I'm going to illustrate this in a minute. And also, we uh, have um, incorporated new uh, color controls in the software. Uh, and it should be uh, uh, noted that uh, DxO Optics Pro used to be available as a standalone software and now it's going to also be available as a Photoshop plugin. A typical wide angle uh, lens picture where you see that uh, the further you go away from the center, the more problems you have with the uh, volumes uh, in the in the image, it looks like it's been shot on a, like a 10 millimeter lens or something. Exactly, and and you've got terrible effect here on this uh, gentleman's head, and this is a typical wide angle problem. And DxO uh, Optics Pro version four is able to automatically perform the correction here on this image, as you can see here. Okay, so we've been able to automatically restore the uh, appropriate volume on the image. DxO Optics Pro automatically recognize which equipment and which, which camera and which lens took the picture. Then what I'd like to show you uh, in terms of uh, geometric control is the fact that we can uh, very easily uh, correct for uh, keystoning. You've got here sliders that will allow you to actually um, bring the image back to what uh, it should be. Okay. So how do, you cor how do you correct for the fact that it's now a trapezoid? Do you have to crop out the extra section? And then actually, you're right, we need to then uh, go to the next step and crop uh, the picture. There we are. And we're ready. So in a way, uh, the, the, the shift lens is not required anymore because you can process your image afterward with the EXO and get rid of this keystoning effect. Excellent. So are there other features there to the yeah, version I'd 4? I'd like to uh, very quickly introduce you to uh, some of the uh, color controls we have in version 4 and specifically the uh, what we call the multipoint color balance. This is uh, very useful for images that don't contain neutral points and that uh, DSLR auto white balance fails on. And here is an example with this image and I'm going to use this tool. It's a very easy to use tool. I'm going to um, to pick um, a skin tone here and uh, give it the appropriate uh, value. Okay, and you can see on the right hand side, my picture is moving uh, along with, uh, with the correction I'm, I'm doing myself. So you can fine tune the effect. Exactly, and, and you can set up to uh, four different colors in your image that you want to correct. Hmm. And as you can see here, uh, we've got a a very, very impressive effect in just a matter uh, of a second. So, uh, you said it's just been released yesterday. Right. And uh, uh, Windows version has been released yesterday, and the Macintosh window, uh, version will be released at the end of October. And are there trial versions of the software? So Exactly. Trial, free trials are available from our website. Excellent. So, I understand also DxO Optics has partnered with Carl Zeiss to integrate it's some features into its technology. Exactly. Some of the technology you've seen here demonstrated with DxO Optics Pro has been integrated into Carl Zeiss Digiscope uh, DC4, uh, and uh, we're very proud to have this, uh, this industry recognition from Carl Zeiss, uh, who, who's, who's chosen DxO to build the, the ISP, the image signal processor, inside the uh, Zeiss camera.